Hi there, this is Power Phil, and I'm going to go through today a video on how to send information from your Power App to Flow or Power Automate using JSON. So oftentimes I'll gather up information inside a Power App, like we're going to do today in this one here I've set up, and I want to pass over that information to maybe send out an email or to store it in SharePoint or a database. And I want to send all that information to a flow to do them next actions. So to do that, I use, I package it up with JSON and send it over to a flow. And we're going to look at that today to see how that works. So to start off with, I've just put together an app that's very straightforward, very simple. Um, if you look at this, it takes in a title. I've got my items section here set to be different titles here. So I'm going to fill out this. I'm going to go into my uh, preview mode. and I'm going to fill out this form. I'm going to select Mr. Phil First Street and I'm going to put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for my phone and then I just added in this text box here just to give kind of a variety of inputs here to see how this will work out for us so between a drop down box up here just regular text input boxes here and this input here and hopefully then we'll want to hit the submit button and actually submit it. Right now I can press that, it's not actually connected to anything. So right now I'm entering in this information but I'm not actually gathering it in any way and what I want to do is make a collection to store this information. So I'm going to do that on my submit button here. So the first thing I'm going to do is collect all this information I've gathered here into a collection and then after that I'm going to package it up in a nice JSON package that I can send to flow. So on my submit button down here I'm going to go to my yeah on select property over here is the one I want and I'm first going to make a collection so I'm going to say clear collect and I'm going to call this call demo info a collection of information for this demo and then I'm now going to collect up all the different things bits of information from here so first thing was the title so I'm going to collect uh, a title and that's going to be collected from my drop down which is this title that uh, title drop down if we look over here I've got it labeled DRP title so that's what I'm going to put in here I'm going to say title I'm going to get that information from DRP title and I have to decide what it is so dot selected And it's going to be a value, so dot value. So that's because I, it's it's picking what value that I select um, from there. So I'm going to put in a comma. And the next one is my first name. So first name. So I'm going to put in this. So first name. And this is just from a text box. Uh, hopefully I've got a text box for first name. Here it is. Text box for first name. And you can see that's gotten highlighted in purple and so select it and I want the text that is in there so I'm going to say put dot text put my comma the next thing is my address and once again that's a text box so text box address and I want the text from that so once again same method same at phone so I'll say txt phone dot text and now this is a little more interesting what will come out of this uh, selection box here down here I have a do you want to tick the box if you want to sign up for the newsletter so I'm going to call this newsletter and this little value down here whether it's checked or not I have it's named check newsletter so let's see if we can kind of get a value out of that so chk check newsletter there it is and i'm going to say dot value i'm going to close my curly bracket and i am going to close my round bracket and just end that there so this should hopefully make a collection when i hit this submit button so right now i've got all that information sitting there so let's Try the submit button here when I click it in preview mode. 
Now, nothing will have sent just yet, but we should be able to view our collection up in collections. And this one's called Call Demo Info. And it says First Street, Phil, True, My Phone, and Mister. So under Newsletter, it says True. That's our, t our, our box that we can tick if we need that newsletter. And the rest is all the information. So that's gathering that information. And if we, let's say, untick this box and try Submit again, under our collection, it now says false. So that's working quite nicely there. So now we can actually send this information over to Flow. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to package this up in a JSON uh, style so that we can actually send this over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say set JSON and we're going to call this Flow Demo. And here I'm going to put in JSON and I'm going to say, I'm going to call that collection I made up there, call demo info. And it pops up down here, call demo info. And I'm going to set it in this indent for style. And it pops up. And this is going to be the package that I'm going to send to flow. I'm going to send this JSON flow demo. But first of all, I actually have to have a Flow or Power Automate to send this to. So I'm going to pause this here. And I'm going to hop over to Power Automate and make a new Flow. So I'm going to create, um, I'm going to go to an instant from blank right now. And I'm going to call this, yeah, Flow Demo. Uh, JSON Flow Demo. And I'm going to trigger from Power Apps. So I'm going to tick that box and create. So now I've got this here. It's going to take in information from uh, Power App. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to parse. It's going to take that JSON information and I'm going to parse it out. So parse my JSON. And right now I don't know what the hell it's going to be. So I'm just going to put in a two curly brackets for now. And we'll come back to that. So I'm going to hit save. And actually we need our content right now. So I'm going to ask in Power Apps. And I'm going to hit save. So that's going to get the information from Power Apps and send it in. So right now I'm leaving this pretty much blank. What I did was I generated from sample. I just put in two little round uh, curly brackets. And that will... Uh, that will be enough to get information in. And from there, we'll look at it and decide on what we want to take out. So to go back to our app now, um, I am now going to go down to my submit button, which when I hit is gathering my collection. But I'm going to now add in something new. And actually, here's something. I want to add in my Power Automate. Something um, to be careful of is if I add this straight in onto that button, oftentimes will clear out all the information I already have there, which is quite a nuisance. So what I tend to do is just add in a new button. I added in two. So I'm just going to add in a new temporary button. And in here, I'm going to add my Power Automate that I've just made. And JSON Flow Demo, that's it, the one there. So I'm going to add that to this button. So you can see that's been added there. It comes up with a red dot because I'm not actually passing any information into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that and take it off this button, this temporary button I left there. I'm going to get rid of that button because I didn't actually want it there. What tends to happen is if I put that JSON or that uh, flow straight on this button, it deletes all this information I'd have here. I'd have to start from scratch. So I'm going to put this down here. JSON flow demo one. Uh, it has a run, and I'm actually going to run, pass it over this little package that I made just beforehand. So I'm going to put that in there. Now when I hit my submit button, it's going to flow through all this, going to collect all this information, package it up in a JSON format, and send it to my flow. So my flow should be waiting over here for this. I'm going to back out of it so I can hopefully see this when it actually runs. And I'm going to just hit submit. So I've got all this information here. I'll look at what, what's... Uh...
hang on, let me undo that. I think I just did the thing. I hit select there and it wiped out all the information on that. It did exactly what I don't like uh, this to do, but I hit undo there and it's good. So I'm just going to view the collection, see what it's passing over first end. Uh, call JSON demo. I've got very little information in there just yet, but it should collect up all this once I hit submit and send it over. So I'm going to hit submit. You can see it took a little bit longer there because it's, it's obviously doing a bit of work. So call JSON demo. Oh yeah, which is a different one. What I'm really looking at is call demo info. That's my that's my um, collection that I'm passing over. So let's look over at my flow and let's see what happened. So in here, I can see it ran 21 seconds ago. I can see failed, which is actually surprisingly what I actually want this run around. I can see it received this and it failed on the JSON. Because if you remember, the JSON I set up was empty. I set it up as empty. And why I did that is because I don't like having to kind of style out JSON's information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this content here. I'm going to hit Control A. I'm going to copy all that content out. This is like a cheat for kind of parsing my JSON and how to format it. So now I'm going to go back and edit my actual flow and go into this parse JSON area here. And I'm going to hit generate from sample. And I'm going to paste that information in, what it took in, what it failed on. So now it has all this information. And it's going to be able to create a JSON here and understand what, what to expect this time around. So now when I actually, let's say if I ran that flow again, or yeah, if I set this off from the app again, it now should run with a little more success. And we can see here, three seconds ago, that just run, and it succeeded, because now it knows what to expect. We passed in what it failed with, and now it knows what to expect. So its outputs are now sending me all that information I passed in. So say if I want to edit this, and I'm now gonna put in a condition. I'm now gonna use all my information that I've gathered. So I'm gonna put in a condition here, because this is, we have that element in this, in the app where a user could select, do they want the newsletter or not? So they could tick a box or leave a blank. So why don't we use that information here where I might say newsletter. So you can see we're taking a newsletter there from Parse JSON. So I'm gonna take in if my newsletter is equal to true. Then I'm gonna actually send an email. If not, I'm not gonna take any action. So this way it decides what it's gonna do. So if it's equal to true, let's send an email. I'm going to send an email to myself in that case. So I'm going to say, um, and I'm going to just send it to the email I'm using here. And I'm going to say this is um, the newsletter as my heading and not news letter as my heading and in here I'm going to say I'm going to use some of this information that doesn't quite make too much sense like title and uh, first name which doesn't exactly make sense and I'm just going to throw in my address here and the phone number and let's say why don't I put in a deer at the front of this maybe so deer that and all I'm really showing here is the way you can pass in a multitude information into flow from from power apps so this is the newsletter so this will be interesting to see how this uh, and let's bold that top line let's say this will be interesting to see how this looks and how this works when we actually set it off so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just set this off as it is so it should pop me an email because I have ticked this box and we'll see what happens when I uh, when I send it off if I haven't. So I'm just gonna make sure I've saved this and hit back. And once again, just to look at this, what this is gonna do is take in that JSON information. It's gonna look if the newsletter box is equal to true. It's gonna send it. If not, it's not gonna take any action. So once again, let's see. Let's pop out of that. And let's have a look here. So let's run it and see what happens. Uh, 
And now we've got a failed here, so let's see why that happened. Let's see what, what happened in here. So I'm getting a little error here. And what that might mean is that I might have to just pop back to my app here. And this can happen with with using email in the flow. When you when you add something new in, you often have to reattach the flow to the to the app. So I'm gonna add a new button here and I'm just gonna reselect that flow onto that button which is a tedious annoying thing that happens but from working with flow and power automate sometimes this just has to be done so that you reassociate that flow with the app and now it should kind of recognize okay this should this is what needs to uh, what needs to happen so let's try and run it again and it should recognize that yeah there's an email in the flow and that we need to send that email so now when I refresh, you can see it actually succeeded because now it recognizes that email connector. And it's floated through all of this. And it sent out an email. We can see this is the newsletter. And hopefully that email came to me over here. So I sent it to myself. So here it is. And if you remember, we bolded that first night. Dear Mr. Phil, this is the newsletter. That was the address I entered. That was the phone number I entered. But that's just an example of how to send your JSON information from an app to your flow. Let's just run it one more time. But let's say if I hit left that newsletter blank, I'm going to send it off and let's see how that flow runs. So I'm going to pop back out to my screen where I can actually see how the flow goes. And this time it succeeded again, but there won't be hopefully any email because when we look through here, it gets that request parses the JSON and it looks down here and it should see yeah it didn't go for that side because my result was false because that's where it checks did you want the newsletter or not so that is how you use JSON to maybe communicate with between power apps and flow and it's very nicely done once you use a collection collect all your information up package it in a little JSON uh, flow or JSON uh, style and then send it off to your flow and in your flow remember the quickest way and the easiest way let's say of parsing that JSON is to leave a blank at first and then let then let the information come in take the error and redo it so like just to go through it one last time leave that blank let's generate this from sample I'm gonna just put in two blank brackets like that I'm gonna hit save so it doesn't know what to expect when I submit my flow or submit my uh, collection here to the flow. I can then see it fail and from there I can grab what I need to grab. So you can see here it's failed. And if I pop into my app, it now sends me that nicely styled information here. So I can steal that, copy it out, go in and edit my flow and from here, in that JSON connector, generate from sample, paste that in, and it's able to pick up on that, and it styles it out the way it's gonna use it. So, hopefully you enjoyed that video, and I'll see you again next time.